Come on a dive with us in Cozumel to Santa Rosa Wall and San Clemente. A few weeks ago, we went scuba diving in the Arefese to Cozumel National Park, and we're back again today. This time, we did and saw so much more, including swimming through a coral tunnel. This is a really unique experience for me because we typically need an additional scuba certification to go into enclosed caverns and tunnels, but since this formation was technically open above us, we were able to go through with our guide. Cosmo is a mecca for divers and attracts scuba folks from all around the world. If you go, you'll likely dive on Santa Rosa's wall. A few weeks back, Kiefer and I also dove on Santa Rosa's wall, but it was a totally different experience at a different section. This time, we saw a lot of brightly colored angelfish and even spotted a few different nurse sharks in some alcoves. Nurse sharks hunt for prey by sucking at the sand below. They're relatively harmless to humans and are a great spot on dive. This time, we saw three total. When you dive, it's customary to avoid touching any of the wildlife. However, we ran into a turtle that was stuck under a piece of coral. The currents on top of these reefs can be very strong and knock you into the coral if you're not careful. Our guide ended up freeing the turtle before it gave him a thankful nod and went back to munching away with less distress. We saw a few well-camouflaged creatures like this pufferfish and small stingray. We then ran into a magnificent larger white-spotted eagle ray. It was really making good time on its magnificent migration to Isla Mujer. Spotted eagle rays are incredible marine creatures of the world's tropical and warm waters. They migrate between December and March. The Santa Rosa Wall ranges from depths of 50 feet to 120. On the top edge of the wall towards the shore are sandy bottom areas with nice big overhangs to hide out from the current. The coral is rocky with large outcrops that are 30 to 40 feet tall. The wall drops steeply and then there are ledges and some sandy areas on the way down. There's a beautiful swim through that takes you to the back of the wall and vice versa. There are not as many fish here as there used to be, which may be due to high traffic. However, there are still a lot of things to be seen. Cozumel is Mexico's largest Caribbean island and Mexico's third largest island. The diverse coral reef is home to more than a thousand marine species. Coral and their Zuthinale live in a mutualistic state, meaning that they benefit from one another's relationship. The coral filter feeds, and when it excretes waste, this benefits the Zuthinale. In return, the Zuthinale photosynthesizes and supplements the coral's diet. These two species have existed together for a long time and grew to be so dependent that they're unable to survive without each other. This is really important when you hear about coral bleaching. Bleaching happens when coral gets stressed out due to sea temperature warming from marine heat waves and now the pending ocean temperature rise that continues to increase. The very stressed coral expel the zoothinale in a desperate attempt to troubleshoot. They do not get relief because the zoothinale were not causing the problem. The corals then slowly starve to death because of their inability to feed themselves. This is important to know about these types of ecosystem dynamics in our ever-changing world. To end on a positive note, though, there are many places like the University of Miami and the University of Hawaii that are working on coral resilience research in addition to a variety of nonprofits. Additionally, there has been regrowth on some sections of bleached reefs like the Great Barrier Reef after nutrient influxes from underwater volcanoes. There still is a lot to learn from research and science. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow and subscribe for more travel tips, activities to do, and places to visit on your travels.